guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be creating this look. This is a halo eye, so if you'd like to learn, then go ahead and keep on watching. Alright, so I say this in all my videos, all of them, that if you hear weird noises, like I'm sure you do right now, those are my dogs, they're French Bulldogs, so they make a bunch of weird noises. And they're both in here today, making weird noise. So we're just gonna go ahead and start out with the face. You guys know I'm not really a primer girl, so I'm not gonna do it because just it's just too much work. So I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. I absolutely love this foundation. I haven't been using it that much lately, but um, I just picked it up recently again, and I just love this foundation. It is way too dark for me, like absolutely way too dark for me. So they only have like they have this. They only have like a really small range of foundation shades, but you can mix them all and I feel like that's the concept of it. With them, they have a literally a white out, like pure white shade, and that's what I normally use to mix into this. But I also used it to mix it into other foundations, so I ran out of it. I'm actually, I don't have much left of this, but I need to go pick up more because this right here is absolutely amazing. So I'm just gonna shut up and I'm gonna put a couple of pumps on my face. I'm not gonna do do too heavy just because it is too dark for me and I'm gonna go in and I actually really don't like this foundation that much this is the NYX Total Control Control Drops like this um, I bought this because I really just wanted to do this and just drop it on my face but honestly it's really not that good of a foundation oh my god don't get it in my brows Ooh, okay that's the problem it drops all over your face and then you look like a crazy person like i do right now so i'm gonna go in with my favorite sponge this is the morphe sponge and actually i'm gonna put my hair back because this is gonna get real bad real quickly so um i'm just blending these in together i feel like these two look really good together and match really well with my skin color after mixing them but um they actually look really good together alone i do not like the uh, nyx total control drops i just Oh my god, look at my brows. <laughs> oh my god. Alone, I don't like the NYX Total Control Drops just because they are, I don't know, they're just too matte for me. I don't really like matte. So, I'm just, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so we're just going to wipe the brows because, you know, we're having issues with the brows up top. Yeah, I put on way too much. Look how much is on my face. <laughs> Whoo. Like, I look like a crazy person right now. There's like so much foundation on my face, oh my god. Normally I spread it out with a brush, but it's across the room and I was too lazy to get up and get it. All right, so before moving on to concealer, I'm gonna go in with the Luscious Cosmetics Camera Powder and I'm just gonna set my top of my eyelids so I don't have to go over them again. Now I'm going to go in with the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Concealer. It is a cream concealer, but I absolutely love this concealer. It is so good, and I'm running out of concealers. I kind of like, I really love Tarte Shape Tape, but I kind of don't want to repurchase it just because, I don't know, I feel like I need to, like, use other ones. This is like my third bottle of Tarte Shape Tape, and I just feel like, like, I need to use some other stuff, so let me know down below in the comments what other kind of concealers you guys are liking because I don't know it's the best concealer I know everyone absolutely loves Tarte Shape Tape but it's just like come on now we need something new and now back into that powder and I'm running out of this powder it's like going low but like the bottom layer of it isn't as like easy to pick up, if that makes any sense. So I'm just patting this under my eyes. Honestly, right now I'm a little too lazy to get up and go, just because I have to move all my lights that are around me, it's really annoying. So I'm, I'm too lazy to go get a blush brush. So we're gonna use the Morphe E41 brush, and I'm gonna dip into the Makeup Revolution Matte Blush in the color Beloved. And I'm just gonna go on the side of this and that's a really pigmented. I'm just gonna put it on my cheeks right here before blending it out. Holy shit, fuck. Okay, not a good idea. I thought it wasn't gonna be that bad, but we're just gonna blend that. Okay, that's not that bad. I'm just gonna blend that out. <laughs> this brush is huge. And now we're gonna go in with the Makeup Revolution Bronzer. I love this bronzer. This is in the color Ultra Bronze. This bronzer is just 
it's so nice it's so inexpensive i got this at ulta and i'm just gonna start bronzing up the face And I'm just gonna take the sharp side of the sponge and just carve out my cheeks right here. It just gives a nice sharp line. And then I just switch into the side with the foundation left over on it and kind of help blend it out. Just because I feel like I don't have a huge face and that this brush is too big and sometimes it gets a little bit too low than I like it to, but I still like using this to blend out with. So that's why I do this. All right, so now I'm just gonna spray my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the Pop Beauty Prismic Pop Gilded Light Highlighter. I love this highlighter. If you can't tell, it's very beat up. And I'm just gonna go in with the Luxie Tapered 522 Tapered Highlighting Brush and start highlighting the cheeks. And now I'm just going to take it on this Luxie 229 Tapered Blending Brush and go down the nose. Alright, and now off camera I'm going to go in with the Brow Gal Convertible Brow and just do my brows. Alright, so the brows are done. I'm just going to go in now with the Morphe N573 Blending Brush. And I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. And I'm going to be going into the color... Eden, which is right here. I feel like every time I use this palette, I have to go into this color because this color is fucking beautiful. So I'm just going to be taking this on the outer part and blending it into my crease. And this look that we're going to be doing isn't going to be too bold and dramatic. Um, I just really needed to film something today, but I didn't want to do bold and dramatic because I'm going places. But I just needed to film. Like this color just blends out like everything so freaking beautiful this color like i need this color in every single palette i use now i'm switching into the morphe m513 brush and i'm going to be going into the color lore right here which is like a gray very light kind of taupey purpley color i don't know but we're going to put it in the crease and just kind of see how it looks because i don't know i don't know how it's going to look Okay, wow, this color is beautiful, holy crap. Honestly, this is not how I thought it was gonna come off. I don't remember using this color. I can tell that I did, but I don't remember using it or like what it looks like, but this color is stunning, wow. And actually, I'm gonna start taking it on the inner corner as well. I changed up my look idea, so we're going to do an halo eye kind of effect. Not too dramatic, but I'm just going to, you know, start forming the halo eye. Now I'm going to go back into the first brush with a little bit more of that Eden color and just kind of start warming it up and blending those two shades together. Alright, so now I'm just taking this really, really tiny brush. This is the Morphe 213 brush, and I'm going to be going into the color Lucid right here, which is a beautiful, like, sparkly kind of white shimmery color. And now I'm just spraying my brush with some setting spray. Actually, this is a priming spray, but that's what I'm using. And we're going to start placing this on the middle of the lid. Like, look, holy shit, that is just so... Literally, this is one of the most beautiful colors like I've ever used in the shade. Look how fucking blinding that is. Holy shit. So I'm taking it and spraying my brush again and just kind of lightly tapping into that. And I'm going to be taking the white shade a little bit more out um, on the top part, if that makes any sense. So I'm just kind of pulling it out and then leaving the middle part kind of shorter. I don't know if that makes any sense, but you guys will see what I'm doing in a second. I'm just really making sure to have the shadows like sharp and bold in the crease just because I have hooded eyes and it's really hard to see like that it goes up so high if it's not bold.
And I'm just pushing this into the middle part of the eye, not going too high up. Alright, so before moving on, I'm going to go in with a pencil brush and just take that white shade and pop it on the inner corner and on the brow bone. And I'm not wetting my brush because I don't want it to be too overpowering, but I'm just kind of layering it. Alright, so now I'm just going to go in with a little bit of a smaller brush. This is the Morphe E36 brush. And I'm going to dip into this dark brown shade right there, which is the color Parallel. Just because I think we need to add a little bit more to the outer and inner part, if that makes any sense. So I'm just very lightly pushing that color in there because this color is super dark and pigmented. But I just want a little bit more deepness. Deepness. Alright, so now I'm just taking a flat shader brush. This is the Vintage Cosmetics brush. Um, the Step 1 brush, I don't know. And it's I'm going to be dipping into the color Lore right there. Very lightly, like one tap into there because these are so pigmented. And just smoking that under my eyes. And now I'm going into a different flat shader brush. This is the... This is the crown brush, um, flat shader brush, and I'm going in lightly into the color Eden and just doing the same thing. Alright, now I'm going in with the Bella Pierre eyeliner off camera and just putting this in my waterline. Alright, so I've been doing this a lot lately. I'm just going to be taking a flat brush, just any kind of paintbrush looking brush would do. This is the Morphe M432 brush and I'm going into the color Obsidian, which is this black shade right here. And I'm just picking that up, and I know this is pigmented as hell, so I'm kind of tapping it off. And I just like to run this on my lash line just because I haven't been feeling doing eyeliner lately. I like doing it, but I have just, I really suck at eyeliner, so I'd hate to mess up any look that I actually like. So I've been running this on my waterline, or my top lash line, if that makes any sense. And this just kind of gives the effect or appearance of eyeliner without having to worry about messing it up as much just because the eyeshadow is really easy to smoke out if you do mess it up. Um, even just like if I don't do winged liner it looks like shit and sometimes I feel like a look doesn't need winged liner. Like I don't know how to just draw regular eyeliner on my eyes. So I've been doing the eyeshadow trick and I've been really liking it. It just kind of helps enhance any look. Alright, now time for mascara. I'm going to go in with my favorite mascara. This is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. You guys already know I use this like crazy and I am running out, but you know, we're just, we're just still using it. Alright, so now I'm going to be going into the Mercedes Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick. This is in the color Ambrosia. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I'm just going to put this on my lips. Alright, so that is the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know down below in the comments what other kind of makeup looks you guys would like to see me film. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please give my video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video.